what is etiquette and how did you get into it? Do you know, etiquette is just about being kind and respectful to other people. Mm -hmm. If you think of it like that, it's really simple. And I'm sort of the, the etiquette ugly duckling, if you mm -hmm. will, where I didn't grow up with formal etiquette, just a middle class, family from Sarasota, Florida, and I, I didn't even touch my first piece of silver until I was an adult. So you can learn this. It's, it's a misconception that, that you have to be born with it, right? Right. And, uh, and I went to London for work, and I was so insecure. I had no idea which fork and knife, and it was actually my boyfriend, now Ooh. husband, thankfully, oh, at the time. Oh, now Yep, thank you. Okay, thankfully. <laughs> and he told me, which is the last thing you want to hear, he said, you need an etiquette class, which is, can you imagine your boyfriend no, saying that? No, that sounds like, ooh. I know, I know, I married him, I married him. But it, <laughs> and in that moment, it, he was trying to help me, and I took this class, and I became so confident, and once I took this class, I could not wait to take more classes, because you can't believe what you learn in an etiquette class. Yes, what made you want to turn it into a career? How did that happen? Well, you know, I started, I, I went to, I trained in London uh -huh. under a, f a former member of the Queen of England's household staff. So oh. it was the, yep, it was a... Well, this is serious. And then I went to Swiss finishing school and I started inviting all of my friends. And they were learning and then they would invite somebody and they'd bring somebody. And I was like, wait a second, this is a business idea here. And then I moved back to New Very York smart. where we started the Plaza Hotel Finishing Program and wrote a few books and became the Downton Abbey official partner for the tour, and here I am. Oh my God. So we're, you know, thank that you. Is thank you. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And, and so where did you start with your etiquette? Where do, where, where do you start with it? Where did the whole idea yeah. of etiquette come from? You know, etiquette is actually, my, my daughter, she thinks she started etiquette. This little girl, she's so <laughs> funny. She's, she's the manners police in my house. Uh -huh. um, but you know, I think that Really, oh, that's Valentina. Oh. Yeah, that, we're at the plaza. But, you know, I think um, it's etiquette is thousands of years old. So what we know traditionally is etiquette, you actually, I mean, the, the handshake, for example, okay. is, was, was invented in the fifth century BC. And they used to, sh to show that they didn't have a weapon, they would shake hands. That's where they come. Yes, exactly. And so, for example, do you want to learn a little etiquette? I want to learn handshake? everything okay. I can. Okay, so a handshake, we would be standing. You, want to stand? we, yeah, oh, yes. you always stand. We want to learn, hands. right, y'all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it is two pumps for business. Two, two so pumps two for pumps. business. So one, two, uh -huh. or three socially. One, two, three. And be oh. careful of doing this or this because this means I'm in charge of you. So, yes. So what? you want to be careful who you do that to. Be careful. So it, it's a political move, too. You see a lot of politicians doing that. It's like, I'm winning. I'm in charge of you. So you have to be careful of what you use and when, and when you use it. But that's just one. <laughs> mm, OK. That was amazing, right? We're learning already. Now, is it OK if I invite a friend? I would love to meet right. a friend. See, I decided to bring one of my boys. This, <gasps> this is what gave me the idea to do the etiquette class. This is Jeremiah. <gasps> Hello, Jeremiah. How you doing? Hi, lovely to meet you. you. Welcome. I, I have to tell you, Mike, I have my son and like seven of his cousins and, and friends, and this is one of them. And they're young men, and they're going out to a lot of places now. And so I was like, it's time for an yes. etiquette class, guys. So this is where this idea came from. So we want to learn together. I love it. Well, welcome, Jeremiah. Well, OK, so I'll ask you both. What would you think, the moment you sit down, what's the first thing you might do at a table? Put the napkin put the, on your lap. Yes, it is. yes. Yeah. Amazing, so at a restaurant, the first thing you do is put that napkin in your lap. Interestingly, at a private home, you wait until the host puts it in their, nap, their lap and then you follow suit. Mm. But here's the best part about napkin etiquette. No matter how it's on the table, there's an actual way it goes in your lap. You fold it in half, like this. Mm. Okay. And then you take this crease and you put this crease to your belly button. Mm. And the reason is because then we can open it and then we put our stains in here and then close it. So all the stains in the inside, so you don't stay see to it. the inside of the napkin. So you always have a beautiful presentation on your lap. So another thing is, you know we all have our own dietary needs, right? Okay, and I tend to take my crystal light or every blue moon my own seasoning <laughs> to an event. Is there a proper way to pull it out? Do I just <laughs> squeeze it in there and hide it, you know? I, you know, I, I don't know I've ever taught crystal light etiquette, um, but this is interesting, this is interesting. 
I think I would just do it very nonchalantly. I think I would just take my little, is it a little packet? Yeah, it's just I a think little... I would just do that. <laughs> and, then, and then put it straight back. Don't draw attention to it and, and enjoy that crystal light. I mean, there you okay. go. Should I offer it to everyone else? I'll share some with you guys. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.